what, what, what the ladies talking about. Yeah. It's Willie D, y'all, and we bull is giving out free money. That's right. Get six free stocks when you open and fund a new account today. Here's how you get your free stocks. Open an account, deposit any amount, get six free stocks. That's it. Open an account with WeBull to get your first two stocks, each valued at up to $300. Deposit any amount to receive four additional stocks, each valued at up to $3,000. Fam, all you got to do is click on the link in the description to get your free stocks now. What's up, family? We got a father who allegedly got jumped by his two sons after he pulled up to box them instead of being in their lives. In the video, you see the father and one of the sons boxing. The father is waxing him, doing him dirty, drops him. And the father quits because he said, I don't want to hurt you. So he quits, turns his back on the son, and the son, you know, tries to hit him, and then he throws the gloves at him, takes off each glove and throw it at him. And then the other son is standing there like he want a piece of the dad too. And then the one son walks up and push, pushes him and then he reacts and the other son get in and try to swing on him. So it was hard to tell what was happening because all you could hear was a bunch of ruckus and you see the ground and some feet. So whoever was filming definitely would not be capable of filming a Hollywood movie. Hell, they can't even film a TikTok video. Anyway, moving on. So fam, there's so many layers to this. Okay, let's say the father didn't do his job. And this is what happens when you don't do your job. This is what happens. You have rebellious kids. You have kids who grow up, who resent you, who sometimes hate you. And you know they wanna harm you. A lot of these kids today, they don't have boundaries. You know, there was a time, oh, that's my mom, I can't do that. That's my dad, I can't do that. A lot of these kids today, and this is why a lot of them are having so much bad luck too though. But this is not just on the dad, it's on the mother too fam, because it takes two to tango. Like what kind of kids are she raising who have that type of mentality, who would disrespect their father and even disrespect their mother like that because they cussing and clowning in front of their mama too. So they disrespecting both of their parents. So what was she, are these mama boys, was she coddling them? Like what is she teaching them when the daddy wasn't around? And what is she telling them also? You see, because the parent who is present has a lot of influence on the kids when they're growing up. If those parents say, yo, you know, me and your dad just didn't work out and but you gonna respect your daddy or you ain't gonna be in this house. You know, you ain't. it don't even have to go that far. You can just start as a youngster and kids get understanding and you know, if the daddy is a deadbeat, they just realize, hey man, my dad's a deadbeat, I ain't got nothing to say to him. You know, my mama got this and that's how it is. But then some of them, sometimes the mama will be like, your daddy ain't this and your daddy this and he da 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 da. And so, all you ever hear is negative stuff about your daddy. So all you know him to be is a is a nothing type cat. So you don't care what happened to him. You don't care how you talk to him or anything because you have zero respect for him. This is the shoe fit wear type statement. If you are talking down on your child's mother or father, it is not benefiting them. And it does not benefit you. It benefits no one. It does not help your child to someday have a good relationship with their father or their mother. In fact, 
it could poison them to where they can never be a good father or a good mother. You got to get out of your feelings and do what's best for your child. If you say you love your child, you teach your child how to be a productive person so they can go out there and be the best person that they can be. You cannot be filling your kid's head up with a whole bunch of negative energy. I don't know to what extent the father was not involved in their lives, but he gets his karma by them simply not wanting anything to do with him. And perhaps it don't even bother him because some dudes are breeders. They don't give a damn about having a relationship with their kids. It don't hurt them that their kids don't call them, don't acknowledge them. It don't hurt them at all. Some cats just don't give a damn. And you got a few mothers out there that's the same way. They don't care. So the best thing that the sons can do is to man up and make sure that if they hate their father that much, they don't become him. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?